Hey guys, it is me, Laura, and I wanted to go ahead and show you all of the things that I purchased for our unit studies for my, maybe probably a semester. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I will link below the video of how I planned all this stuff out. And um, I've kind of got them organized by where I got them, so if you're interested, you know where to go. But I'm going to show you what we have. Okay, so this I got to go with our um, Science in the Beginning set. We're going to be studying a little bit about rocks and the rock cycle. We've already started looking at cores and things like that, and we're just about to start looking at different kinds of rocks. It tells you all the different types of rock, where they are in the rock layer, and kind of gives you a chance to look at them. And I thought it'd be fun to pull out our microscope and a magnifying glass and just have a lot of fun with this kit. And we will be doing a dinosaur unit in our um, Mystery of History studies. And the boys have no dinosaur toys or anything. I've kind of got an interesting relationship with dinosaurs, um, which I'm trying to overcome. But I got this kit for them from Amazon. It was very reasonably priced, and it's just got all these different dinosaurs. And on the back of the box, it tells you what they are. But I thought, I don't usually like get toys, but I thought you can't really do a dinosaur unit without playing with toys. And I'm sure that they'll bring them out here and play in the dirt and have a lot of fun. And then this is a book that I got about, it's from a creationist perspective about where dinosaurs come from, where did they go. I got this used on Amazon. I believe it is out of print, but it's actually really good and talks a lot about um, what modern science says and what, what the differences are, but it's in a very, I don't know, it's just written in a really, really neat way. And I really appreciate it. It's written by someone who is a, um, a PhD in paleontology, I believe. So anyway, I'm excited about that. And this book I also got from Amazon and we will be doing a unit study on the Ice Age with our Mystery of History studies as well. And so this is about the woolly mammoth. Again, this is written from a creation perspective. There's several other, there's another book in this series and there's several other books that I got from, that I'll be getting out from my library. But Samuel really loves chapter books and the fact that this has pictures too, I just know that he's really gonna love it. So I'm excited about that. And this book I got, um, in general to go with mystery of history Samuel loves archaeology he's so interested about it and so what this does is it talks about archaeology throughout history um, and I just think this is going to be a really good supplement to our history for various things and each each uh, chapter has like an introduction and then it kind of explains a little bit about it and it talks more in depth about you know what happened and then tells more modern interactions with whatever it was so anyway it's all laid out those same kind of what it is more information about the history of archaeology in relation to it and then more modern stuff so i think this is going to be really fun to have with that um these are some things that i got from usborn this is the big book of big bugs. These are going with our gardening unit. Um, we're doing kind of a wildlife gardening unit where we're focusing on bugs and animals and basic plant care. But I love, my boys love these books. We have a couple other big books. Um, but these are just really fun and have a lot of great pictures. And I think that they're gonna really like this. Timothy especially wants to learn about bugs. And I got this for the same study um, about bugs with our wildlife gardening and we can look up in here about the different bugs that we're learning about and anyway I think that'll be really fun. And the big order that I got is from Rainbow Resources and they just have really awesome deals. So I got, I actually didn't realize this was going to be this big, but I got this woolly mammoth um, and what we're going to do with this guy, of course he can go with the dinosaur play set. This guy is really solid too. But I am going to freeze him in some ice for our um, ice age unit. And I'm going to bring the big block of ice outside and let the boys chip away at it and discover their woolly mammoth. So I think that's going to be kind of fun. Um, this is City of the Bees. We're going to do um, by Moody Science Classics. I love this. It's very old school. So if your kids are into like new high techy stuff, they're probably not going to like it. It's a little slow 
but my kids will love it and it's about the bees and how they work together these are Christ this is a Christian series and I think this is going to be a lot of fun we can't do a wildlife bug garden unit study without talking about bees or butterflies especially those are two very important pollinators so we're going to be learning about that and this is one that was recommended to me called I Dig Dinosaurs and it's just a little bit about dinosaurs from a creation perspective and this is another dinosaur book what really happened to the dinosaurs and this one's really um, a simpler level and so I think that you know it's not as heavy as some of the other ones that I have but again Christian perspective on all these dinosaur books and then here this is what you cast, paint, assemble, and display. So the idea is that when um, paleontologists discover dinosaur bones, those aren't what they actually display because they're too brittle and they that, that wouldn't work. So they cast the bones and then they prepare them for display. So here you're casting the bones and you're just getting ready for them to display and putting them on magnets and we've got the triceratops and this is what it will look like when it is done and so that will be a lot of fun and then we also got this dinosaur dig kit and this is really fun because um, this is the thing that you dig them out of but you thought you're digging an actual dinosaur tooth an actual dinosaur bone an actual dinosaur poop so that's pretty fun so I think the boys are gonna really like that and then this last kit that we got this is for our gardening unit study. One of the things that we're going to do as part of that is we are going to um, try and plant gardens that attract wildlife and then we're going to set up some um, feeding stations and ways at night to track and see if you have any visitors. And so that's done by getting their paw prints so or animal tracks. I guess they might not be paw prints, whatever kind of tracks they are. So we're going to do um, a little mini unit study on tracking and this is super cool. It's got games in it and posters and casting activities and let's see if I can show you inside real quick. It's just got all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff in here, um, just everything that you could need and so I think this will be a lot of fun. And so that is pretty much it. That is what we got. This should last us about a semester, maybe a little bit more. Um, and so I'm really, really excited. Obviously, I didn't get big things for everything, but I kind of made my list of all the books and supplies and materials I felt like we needed for all the unit studies and everything. And I gave myself a budget and figured out what was the most important and what I felt would add the most value. And this is what we got. So let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I will link the places that I got these below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.